I'm Richard Bull. I'm a senior research fellow here at the Institute of Energy and Sustainable Development. Uh, at the moment, we're in the uh, office space for the IESD, the research space where our academics and PhD students do their work. IESD is, is split, really. It's got a research function and teaching, so it does lots of multidisciplinary research into buildings, into sustainable development, looks at uh, energy reduction initiatives, uh, sustainable development policy, kind of the whole sort of gamut of sustainable development and how we can imagine life sort of in a low carbon society, which is what we're trying to achieve. We have to talk about the new uh, BSc in Energy and Sustainability Management. It's a completely new initiative for the Faculty of Technology and the university as a whole. Um, the university has been committed to a long time for sort of sustainable development and how we can improve the situation, how we can uh, raise up students who are more environmentally aware and committed to principles of sustainability. Uh, we're now exploring how we can do that better through our undergraduate provision. We believe here at uh, De Montfort that this degree is really critical for, for students. We believe that the challenge of sustainable development, the threats to uh, society and to businesses and to individuals through climate change and environmental change is an issue that needs to be tackled. And we're really keen to raise up students and future business leaders and policy leaders so they can understand the challenge of climate change, of sustainable development, and are equipped to do something about it. There's a couple of really interesting distinctives about the degree. I think the fact that it's a partnership between business and law, so taking the, very, the best of very strong modules and courses in a successful business and law school, marrying it with research-led teaching in the Institute of Energy and Sustainable Development, I think is significant. I think also the opportunities for an industrial placement in the third year, where you're going to be able to go and get uh, work experience out in the real world, is really important. The course is interesting because it's very much, we're using the word transdisciplinary. So we're expecting people to do uh, not just technology focused work, but social science work as well. So we're thinking about raising up leaders, we're thinking about wanting to understand change in organisations. There will be assessments and projects around how you change cultures of an organisation so that the more social science people you focused side of work. People will be looking at uh, understanding the impact of buildings and energy, so they'll be understanding the environment, how you measure the environmental impact of a building like the one we're in now. Uh, we'll be looking at carbon management, so how can you assess and measure an organisation's carbon footprint, and then practically what can you do about it. So people will be having to write strategies for change and research projects. There's a compulsory dissertation project where people will be doing an in-depth piece of research around what they can do to change an organisation's environmental or carbon footprint. Uh, employability is obviously key for, for students. We, um, we've been talking to industry at the university here and in the institute we've got lots of contacts with industry, with people like Arup, with Carbon Trust, with leading organisations. And the message we're hearing all the time is that business leaders and organisations are looking for graduates who are equipped to cope in the modern business world and the organisational challenges that face, but also are equipped to know how to respond to the environmental challenges. So we hope that graduates from this course will go to work in industry, in local government, perhaps consultancy, along the whole range of maybe it's a professional business function, maybe it's environmental management, or maybe it's just getting involved with local politics.